Hello AFL-CIO, this is Jim Gillis with Win My Vote, and I wanted to invite you guys to use our platform for as a free online voter guide for all of your members. So here's how it works. Win My Vote is free. Voters can sign up with just an email address or social media account, and without entering any personal information, just the zip code, we can create for them their own online interactive sample ballot for their upcoming elections. So you can see here 94116 is a San Francisco, California zip code. So here is my next upcoming ballot. But for this demo, uh, we'll, you, we'll go backwards a little bit and I can sort of show you the flexibility uh, of the site. So this was a primary on June 7th. You know, here are the candidates. Um, and as I click on the candidates, I can learn a little bit more about each one of them. So for example, I can you know, see the basic information here. I can click on full bio. I can do a little bit of a deeper dive. I can obviously you know, watch videos of theirs. So I'm hitting the road to earn your vote. And yes, I wish you would have said win your vote, which would have been nice. Um, but I can also see groups and organizations and individuals that I trust uh, that I have selected as trusted sources, I can see their endorsements. So I can scroll through here, you know, and I can see these endorsements. And if they've had a video, I can even just click through and watch the video. Hi, this is Randy Weingarten. As many of you know, your elected representatives, our AFT Executive Council, voted overwhelmingly to endorse Hillary Rodham Clinton for President of the United States of you know, and then with that, I can simply click on the candidate's star here. And when I go back to my ballot, you can see that this candidate's nameplate is now turned green, which makes it really easy for me to access it with my cell phone and be able to see who my favorite is, who I plan to vote for. You can also see an ongoing percentage there, and that's the percentage of votes that are on this ballot on Win My Vote. So that groups and organizations can reach out to their members, tell them to sign up for Win My Vote. It's totally free and select them as a trusted source. That way they'll see the endorsements and then you'll be able to track all of your members and see who the see the members that are agreeing with the recommendation and selecting the candidate. One of the other nice things about this is that I can engage with this one time, you know, 3 months before the election and then I'll get a reminder, you know, leading up to the election, I can check on my voter registration status, I can apply to vote by mail or vote absentee. I can find my polling place. Um, I can, you know, reference important dates uh, and places for, say, early voting. Um, I can also add this to any of one of my online calendars to get reminders. I can print it out. I can print out just my favorites. I can share on social media. I can even become a group myself. Let's say if I wanted to form uh, a neighborhood group or something like that, and then make my own endorsements. But there's some flexibility uh, there as well. Um, you know, so again, this way um, it makes it much easier for the voter to sort of track and manage their vote. Now, it's not that important on the up ballot races, the U.S. president, you know, U.S. Senate, those types of races. Um, that's going to be, you know, very easy for your members as well as other people, uh, you know, to track, you know, who they're planning to vote for. Um, when my vote goes all the way down the ballot, though, and as a group or organization, you can make endorsements all the way down the ballot as well. So for example, you know, as a voter, I can scroll down through the congressional districts and then state senate and state assembly districts and then into the county level uh, races and then even into the school board and board of supervisors and city council races. Um, and you know, again, I can you know, click on the candidate profile. I can see who, you know, uh, which groups and organizations are endorsing which candidates and then I can favorite accordingly. Um, so I can sort of fill out my entire ballot uh, and then a day before the election I can access it on my cell phone, get my directions, turn by turn directions right to the polling place and go cast my vote. And as a group or organization, you don't have to pay for expensive polls you know, or other indications of how your members are uh, voting or just how the general public is voting. You'll always be able to see the percentage here and then be able to make adjustments to your campaign uh, accordingly. Um, anyway, there's actually lots of other features. This is kind of a demo ballot that's uh, about to be upgraded. Uh, we have additional features where groups can actually do their own polling with their members, sort of a primary, a closed primary just with their members uh, to be able to uh, you know, gauge um, who they should endorse. 
Uh, but anyway, I uh, would love to talk with you guys. Um, I'll show you one quick thing um, that I did build in this little demo ballot uh, for you guys. So I just created this uh, placeholder site, uh, mainly so that no one else came in and grabbed your guys' name, because again, they're free uh, group pages, just like Facebook pages and that type of thing. Um, but to make endorsements, you know, here's your page. You simply click on Make Endorsements. And if you want to endorse Hillary Clinton, you click on her star. And then you can see here, this pops up right here that says you want to create a written or a video endorsement. You say yes. Then you can use the share URL from YouTube. And you just do a cut and paste right in there. So on YouTube, you have your uh, video that you want to use. Click share right below the video. This this will, uh, URL will be highlighted. You just do a copy and paste in there. And then click publish. Uh, and then I'll show you what it looks like on the ballot. So now when I'm, when I'm on my ballot and I click on the candidate profile, I can see the endorsement right here. And if I want to listen to it, I just click. For the better part of a year, I've been talking about the dangerous and divisive Republican nominee for president. Today, I'm not even going to mention his name. because the yeah, And then again, with that, I simply click there and I'm done with that race. And then I can go back to my ballot and go down to the next race. Um, hopefully this makes sense. I would love to talk with you guys about it. Uh, we did the national student parent mock election uh, last November, uh, which was about 5 million teachers and students throughout the country, uh, mainly middle school and high school. Uh, so we plan on doing that again in 2018. Uh, but we are now launched to the general public doing probably between 250 and 300 uh, ballots throughout the country. So that means anywhere from uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, to Florida, Texas, Washington. Uh, we're doing the Seattle race that's coming up that's now heating up uh, because the main you know, mayor dropped out. Uh, so would love to talk with you guys about it um, and how it works and would be happy to do a little bit of legwork and set up the pages for you guys uh, to get you started. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.